Morning, Mike. You're early. Just a bit, yeah. I uh, figured I'd balance my hours a little after yesterday. So speaking of yesterday, I'm still in shock. I know you're in shock. I would have bet on that game if I could have. Oh, yeah? If you were so sure that my Yankees were going to get dumped on, why didn't you? Other than the fact that the game was over several hours before we went to the bar? Well, yeah, besides that. Eh, just a rule of mine. Ahem. Johnson, up and at him. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. I've been fired. I'm awake. What's up? Alright, uh, let's get a jump on this run. Ugh, morning, Kurt. Wow, really morning. I know, I know. Well, at least we already got our orders. You good to move? Just about. Just a minute. Ladies first? <laughs> no, I've still gotta work up a little steam. Alright, if you insist. Mike? We're moving. We heading to Troy? Hard and fast over the mountain. Maybe somebody will be waiting for us. Well, I hope someone is. Come on, big guy. We don't need the road filling in for us. Oh, man. I'm kind of late, aren't I? Eh, I reckon we'll do all right. Have fun, Pipsqueak. Coil, are you handling HBT today? I want to do D-O-L-T. It's either that or D-O-K-V. I've got dibs. We can't do D-O-K-V, and you can't call dibs. Mark the X. Fine. One, two, three, go! Yes. Damn it. Two out of three? No way. I'm going to Troy. Huh? Why are you so late? Get to work! Uh oh. What? Big joke. You two! What? Another one of these diseases. <laughs> so what are we gonna pull today? Cupcake? A crate of feathers? Uh. No, no. Wait a minute. Hmm. Let me find you a job worthwhile. Am I all set? Yeah, you're fine. Uh. Oh, here, Nick. You get to do the oil shit. Have fun. Don't get too lubed up. Thanks. Well, that wasn't too bad, I guess. This is weird. What's weird? I have an IHR trade. D-O-K-V. They never give me IHR trades. Huh. I have a weird thing, too. What? My orders are dated tomorrow. Also, they're D-O-K-V, too. We have the same train? <laughs> I... I guess so. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing. I... I'm just not sure. I'm... I'm... Oh no. She's gonna say she doesn't want to go. But I want to hang out. Wait. What would Kurt do? Hey, Kurt. Oh my god. Nick, are you kidding me? You summoned your mental image of me to ask me what to do with this girl? First of all, I'm not going to start with you thinking that just because I helped out Cole and Katie, meaning that I'm going to help you out. I mean, no offense, but I sort of had a vested interest in that thing, you know? And if I help you out just because you asked, then I'm going to end up with like 50 engines on my doorstep begging for relationship advice. Do you think I want that? Come on. Yep, that went about as well as I figured it would. Get her involved, Nick. Oh. Huh. Why? Nothing really, just... Why don't we get going? Come on, ladies first. <laughs> That's nice of you. So, do you want to take point? Take point? I mean, go in front. Oh, no, I don't. You don't what? I, I don't know where I'm going. Ha! 
What's wrong with that? You're not an IHR engine. Does anyone actually expect you to know where you're going? I bet Joe would. Well, he's... I mean, he's kind of mean. He's not malicious. Huh? He doesn't want to hurt anyone. He just really likes to keep things in order. I mean, he needs to. If it weren't for him, the electrics would probably be all over the place. Oh, okay. But he's still kind of mean. Yeah, I guess. So, should I go first? Yeah, go first. Hi! You two! The hell are you coupling up for? Uh, I'm... Uh... We have the same orders! You do, do you? Yes. Yeah. Huh. Damn idiots making the schedule. That's why they ought to let me do it. Why did he not... Never mind. We good to go? Morgan? Yeah. Whoa. Is this? Multiple unit operation. Ah! ah! That was really, really weird. Are we still connected? Yeah, we are. This is uncomfortable. Stop doing that! Doing what? You're... You're thinking too hard. Thinking too hard? You think I'm thinking too hard? Ha! Morgan, I hardly think at all. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You don't know me well enough, but I'm lazy. I don't think about anything unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> you don't seem too lazy to me. Why not? You got the two of us out here to run this train. Well, that was... That was... A gift. Sort of. How so? I mean, I got to... I'm getting to... Um... Kurt, should I tell her? Tell me what? Ah! Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's drive. <laughs> you're not lazy. Well... I think you're all lazy! Now get the hell out onto the main! We're going, Joe. Well, and then what? And then I said to him, you can take another dip in the Blackstone. <laughs> I can't believe you actually said that to Dan. It was scary enough being next to him for a few days after. Hey, he deserved it. Hey, look who it is. Chris, hi Chris. Huh? Oh, um, hey you, um, uh, um, uh, uh, Nick. Yeah, that's right, Nick. I totally didn't forget your name. What's up? I'm running the engine yard freight today. How about you? Oil. Was that the engine that ran the freedom train? Him? Chris? Yeah, that was him. He's a friend of mine. Really? He looks so cool when he came in. Shucks that you're out here with me. You could have met him yourself. Well, it's not so bad. You really mean that? Yeah, I mean that. You're fun. You're funny. Yeah, hey, well, you're pretty funny too, you know. Yeah? Absolutely. I just hope I can... Whoops. What? N nothing, sorry. <laughs> Okay. So, now what? I guess... I don't know. Ooh, what about the Freedom Train guy? Chris? Yeah, him! Tell me about him! Oh, okay, sure. I guess. Chris only just got bought by us. He was mistreated by the Southern Pacific, so we ended up with him. Of course, he got here when I was still in Troy, so I had to get him up to speed. Really? You were in charge of that? I definitely was. I'd already taken care of my train, so once Chris was all ready, I showed him the ropes. We've got these weird position light signals that very few people understand, and our network is all sorts of mess, and it takes a lot to understand. I was glad I knew it so well. Aren't there three ways to get from Douglas to Troy? No, there are only two. Actually, I heard there were four. Definitely just two. You can either go over the gorge or through the gorge. Does Chris know that? Only because I told him so. Wow, that's pretty cool. I have to admit, he's pretty cool, but only because he got it from me. He was a little shaken up after being dropped after running the freedom train. Then again, he's the shaken up sort. Poor guy. He needed something to get him back on his wheels. I was happy to oblige. I can believe it. You can? Yeah, you've been nice enough to me. You're... You're not used to that, are you? No, I'm not. That's not right. You know, 
You know what? What? I'm gonna keep being nice to you. And I'm gonna make sure other people are nice to you, too. You don't deserve to be run over the other engines. It's not fair. You're a person, too. Wait. Big Joe's kinda nice to you. Okay, let me explain about that. I'm a special case with Joe. How so? I might not be normal. You seem pretty normal to me. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I am. But my point is, I'm more normal and more sensible than most of the electrics. I mean, a lot of them are old, back from when the people didn't really understand how to build them, to not make them, well, weird. Like the bipolars, the little Joes are the only normal ones out there right now, and they still end up being twisted by the other engine, so to speak. Is Big Joe immune to that? Yeah, because he's just a modified Pensy engine. He isn't similar enough to the other Milwaukee engines. Well, aside from the little Joes, to be able to hear them over the wires. Oh, wow. I just realized, your whole system is electrified. Yup. Are you, like, the only diesel? Well, no, not the only diesel, but I'm one of very few, and I've always made sure I never get in Joe's way. He can't know what I'm thinking, so as long as I do the work and don't talk too much, I know I'll be okay. I think he likes me just because I'm cooperative. Or maybe because you're a girl. Maybe. Or maybe be because you're cute. <laughs> oh, really now? You know, you're not too bad yourself. Really? Meeting the demands of throughput in the Eastern Division had always been troublesome, and moving cold there had been no small part of the solution. When I signed the orders to swap him and Nick, I knew in the back of my mind that they'd be losing an asset, but it was a decision that I'd considered heavily. I had hoped that Nick would be able to live up to Cole's almost flawless reputation. Unfortunately, I wasn't completely correct. So, where are we now? That's a good question. I think, I mean, I see the Y over there. So this must be Wyvern, because that's how they said you could recognize it. Didn't they say it was the first Y you'd see? Well, is it? I don't know. Did you see any other ones on the way up here? I don't remember seeing any. So... So this has to be Wyvern. Do we have any work here? I don't know. Well, you're the one with the orders. You have the orders too. I have orders from tomorrow, and mine say... Mine say to be determined. Why would they even print this if it's not all settled? You have orders from the future! They're not from the future. I already told you there's no such thing as time travelers. I believe, Nick. Also, didn't you say you knew the system, like, the back of your gearbox? Yeah, well, sometimes I get confused. Now what do the orders say? Okay, so we need to take the last three cars and put them on track three. And there should be cars that we need to swap out with. Our hoppers belong on track one, and we have to pick up the tankers. Well, some of the tankers. You know what? Give me the orders, and I'll do them, because I'm in front. These orders aren't making any sense. There isn't a track five. There's only one yard. Morgan, what is it with these orders? I don't know. Well, they're not like... they don't... they're useless. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, we get all the way up here, and our orders aren't... What are you yelling about? Our orders are stupid. Maybe you're just stupid. In 42 years, there haven't even been a stack full of mistakes Uh, are you alright? Also, whoa, wait a, wait a minute. What's a Milwaukee Road engine doing here? I'm on the train. Yeah, but this isn't your train, is it? Nick and I have the same orders, so we came together. Well, that's we are. Oh, oh, wait, right, I know what happened. You, you do? What happened? Nick was a day ahead on heading out to Douglas. I was a, a bit more on my game, uh, so to speak. So I was able to take care of a bit of work, and that cascaded. Chris got done early. Mm. Yes, can I see your orders? Yeah, sure. Here. 
This whole thing is stupid. Hold on, Nick. Huh? I gotta ask. What's the matter with you? You promised to make the girl happy, and then you almost make her cry like, what is it, an hour later? Or something? Well, she's not making any sense. Damn, we're walking. You stupid idiot. Do you want to sound like Eric? Do you think he has a girlfriend? Do you think he's ever had a girlfriend? There's a lot of awful people out there, Nick, and I'm pretty sure Miss Halloween over there has had to deal with, like, all of them. Or at least too many. Maybe once too many. I don't know. And she's got Eric and Dan. Awful Dan, you know. All the freaking bipolars that are out of their damn minds. Not to mention the other Milwaukee electrics, who are all wacko. Except for the Littles, and they're offset by you-know-who, and I- Sorry. My point is, you don't need to add yourself onto that list. Don't do this and be a douchebag just because you're pissed off at something. I want you to go over there and- Uh-oh. What? <laughs> you in trouble, kid. Look out. Really? I knew it. I knew something was fishy with that train of yours. Huh? Nick, this isn't Wyvern. Yeah, it is. Nick, can you read? Yeah, I can. I mean... Oh. Oh. Uh... Oops. Ugh! I... I mean, this explains why the orders were wrong. The orders weren't wrong! I... I... Just shut up! Can we split up and do this? Get it done quicker? Wow. You're a clever one. Huh. I don't need the compliments. Okay, okay. Well, I hate to tell you, Ben, but that's probably not a good idea. Most of the stuff that has to go through comes from Wyvern. Mostly empty tankers. So splitting the train might just create a lot more confusion. Not to mention you, the mess you might get into on the dual cage. So, should we couple back up and head down to Wyvern? Fine. Listen... I told you I'm sorry. I liked you. You were nice to me. And then you weren't. I didn't mean it. I... <sighs> Dear Lord, it just drones on and on and on and on. You shut up. Only if you do it first. I'm... I'm trying to have a conversation. Why? Because I am. Because we are! You don't need to have a conversation to get a job done. And why are there two of you anyways? I thought we were supposed to be replaced by diesels. Now you're getting weaker. Guess I'm gonna go out to tell Basil he's a stupid, paranoid idiot. In addition to mentioning the diesel thing, I suppose. We are not getting weaker! Of course not, Milwaukee Motorhead. Excuse me! You heard me. I may be off in the middle of the wilderness, but I know your whole railroad is incompetent. Nobody likes anybody, and I don't like you two. But... but... No buts. And shut up and wait for Palmer. No! Huh? Absolutely not. I'm not going to sit by here Will you berate her. I'm not berating anyone. Whatever what that means. I'm asking you two to stop the incessant yammering. You attacked her. Hurt her feelings. Attacked? Oh, I'm so sorry. You can't just expect someone to get over it. You can't go around being awful and expect people to tolerate it. Sure I can. I... You don't even know who you're talking at. This is Morgan, and she is wonderful. She's funny and smart, and has no reason to take this shit from you. Really? Really? Yes. Listen, I'm no Andy, and I'm no Kurt. I don't really have a way with words, or girls, or really even common sense. I just know that you are adding another layer to the things that Morgan does not deserve. She deserves kindness, and compassion, and... and love. Who are you? Charlie. I'll bet you have no more idea what it is than she does. And she's never even had the opportunity. She's been beaten on, and beaten down, and surrounded by people that do nothing but hate. And, and I've just added to it. But I won't let you do the same, Charlie. Stressing the wrong syllable will make you feel any better. Not that I care, just curious. You do whatever you feel like. I just don't want to hear about it. I... I... Wait a minute. Morgan? Yes? I... I'm... I know, Nick. I forgive you. Really? 
Nick, you have been nicer to me in one day than anyone else has been in a year. I should be thanking you. I don't think I deserve that. I'm just trying to do what's right. With the people I have to deal with, sometimes doing what's right is the exception to the rule. Yeah, I can see that. See what? Whoops. See me, probably. Hey, Charlie. Hattie Palmer. Hattie Char. And the... Hey, you aren't Tangelo. Who, uh, who are you two? Nick? Morgan. Huh. Okay, yeah. Uh, Nick, I've heard of you. Are you replacing Cole and Morgan? Wait, there. are you two, uh... No! no. <laughs> okay. You two are clear to have fun, I guess. Charlie, you're up after them. Right, yeah, of course. Well... What? We don't have to be... not. <laughs> we can try that. 